All right, so we are going to officially try the Savvy Fur Nozzle on a monstrosity. And if you guys think I'm joking about that monstrosity, here. Yes, that's right. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, monster. He's a bear. They claimed he's an Alaskan Malamute, but we're pretty sure he's a bear. So, uh, yeah, I'll be taking occasional videos and seeing how this goes. Um, he does not like the grooming process at all. He gets really aggressive and upset about it. Um, I think a lot of it is, is that he's just not entirely properly brushed at home, gets aggressive and bites for, but <clears throat> I think he just has a very low tolerance of it. If anything, I don't think he's, since he's not used to it, uh, any pulling on his skin is actually really painful. So we're going to do the best that we can today. We've already scheduled a couple of hours for him. He's our whole day. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. Here is Christina and she is blowing him out before the bath and this helps to break up some of the impaction as well as allow us to be able to get deeper into his skin with the shampoo and conditioner we're going to use today. As you can see while she's blowing him out, he is heavily impacted. It is really thick. At this point, it is also snowing in my yard. Doesn't look like it, but it is. Okay, so now we're doing some close open close. We dumped him with a bunch of conditioner. We have two and a half gallon of this and we think we've probably used a good, man, quarter, quarter of that on him because that's what he desperately needed. Christina's brushing him out. He's been pretty mean about his butt, which is expected, but we're getting there. We're getting there, little by little. He's like, don't talk to me unless you have treats. No. And here's where I'm using the Savier Fur Nozzle. It's a nozzle that has the capability to really jet stream underneath that heavy impaction and undercoat. So far, I'm really liking the nozzle. It really is breaking everything down for me. So we're about 40 minutes into it and we're just starting the shampoo process. So we're doing close up and close where we do conditioner first, shampoo after, then conditioner again. So now we're doing shampoo, brushing them out. He's been very, very vocal, but we're getting there. Hang in there, little dude. Not a little dude. Tony! Tony! There we go. Little dude. <laughs> so, all right, last round of conditioning. We did the shampoo, we rinsed it out. Now he sits in conditioner for another 10 minutes. Just FYI, it looks like he's in the hot blazing sun, but he, the table and the wind is beautiful today. It's actually really nice and cool. All of us are kind of in our shorts and shirts and we're doing fine. So we're gonna let him sit for this whole queen song before rinsing him again with the Savage Fur Nozzle. And then we get the joy of drying him, but so far so good. Now we moved on to the actual drying process. Beforehand, we had pre-blown him out. It wasn't really meant to actually dry him. It was just meant to break up the impaction. Now we are actually thoroughly drying him. There is fur all over my yard and driveway. Hip hip hooray. And this is really actually doing great. Here is the after shot. Glorious. All in all, he took about three and a half hours to do with three of us together. We also did a silhouette trim that I did not capture on camera. But now he feels like a million bucks. <laughs> 